properties and characteristics of light and sound. How energy in the form of light and sound works. Hello kids! In this module, Barney and his friends will help us understand the properties and characteristics of light and sound. At the end of the lesson, you should be able to Define the reflection of light Describe how light is reflected Define refraction of light Describe how light is refracted Demonstrate reflection and refraction of light using various materials. Give examples of loud and soft sound. Infer what happens to the volume of sound as one moves away from the sound source. Are you ready now? To achieve the learning objectives, you should Answer the pretest which demands some prerequisite knowledge about the lesson. Read and understand the lesson proper. Do the enhancement activities. Answer the post test to find out how well you understand the concept presented in this module. Are you ready to answer the pretest? Please do as directed. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write your answer on your answer sheet. What are you waiting for? Check your answer. See page 27 for answer key. If you get 12 correct answers out of 15 questions, congratulations! If not, don't worry. Proceed and I will help you understand the lesson. Lesson proper. Reflection of light. Almost every day you see yourself in the mirror. Have you ever wondered why the mirror reflects your image? Yes, I wonder why I see myself in the mirror. Materials with shiny or smooth surface can produce regular reflection. When you look at yourself in the mirror, you are actually seeing light that has been reflected from you and then from the mirror. You see yourself clearly because the mirror has a smooth surface. You can compare how light is reflected to the bouncing of ball that hits a certain object. The bouncing back of light is called the reflection. When you throw a ball straight down, it will bounce straight back at you. When you throw a ball at an angle, it will bounce off at the same angle away from you. Light reflects the same way of mirror. It bounces off at the same angle that it struck the mirror. Can you compare the images above how they differ? Water in picture 1 have an even surface. The reflection cannot form a clear images. Yes, rough and uneven surface produce irregular reflection. A kind of reflection that cannot form clear image, while still water can produce regular reflection because it has a smooth surface. It can form a clear image such as in picture number 2. Refraction of light. Can you describe how you see the pencil in a glass of water? The pencil appears to be broken, and the submerged part look bigger than the original part. Yes, that is refraction, the bending of light as it passes through a different substance or material. You can also try it at home. You only need a glass of water and pencil. The 
the speed of light slows down as it passes through a different materials. Light travels faster through air, fast in water, and it travels the slowest through solid. By observing the pencil in a glass of water, you will see that the pencil bends twice, first in the glass and then in the water. When light changes speed as it moves from one materials into other, it bends and changes direction. This is called refraction. The refraction of light can also be observed in the atmosphere. When it is raining during the day, the light of the sun passes through tiny raindrops. The raindrops act as prism that separates white light into band of seven colors of solar spectrum. The solar spectrum is the rainbow that we see in the sky. Oh, that is marvelous! But what is prism? Prism is a transparent glass with five triangular faces. Isaac Newton used it to prove that white light is made up of several colors. How do we see colors? As what we have learned earlier, when white light strikes an object, it can be reflected or absorbed. When you see the color of the object, it shows that light is being reflected from the object to your eyes. An object can be seen by the color it reflects. This is the reason why you see my color violet and I see your color green. The color that you see is actually the only color that is reflected to your eyes, while the other colors of white light is absorbed. Sound and its properties Sound waves, just like light, can be reflected. When sound waves hit a large object, such as wall, the reflected sound you hear is called echo. Sound is a vibration transmitted through solid, liquid, or gas. Sound cannot travel through a vacuum. A vacuum is an empty space where there is no matter, not even air. Vibration is a back and forth movement of molecules causing the air around the object to follow a pattern called sound waves. Sounds bounce back or reflect from hard surface. Have you tried bouncing a ball on a cemented sidewalk or on a loose pile of sand? The ball bounces back very well from hard surface. It hardly bounces back from a soft surface like sand. When sound hits hard surface like wall, it bounces back. However, when sound hits a curtain or some other soft object, it does not bounce back. This is because soft material tends to absorb sound. Hard surface tends to reflect sound. Light travel faster than sound. That is the reason why, during thunderstorm, you always see the flash of lightnings before you hear the crash of thunder. Sounds travel faster in solid materials, slow in water, and very slow in air. Sounds travel in waves. If you drop a pebble in the pool of water, the waves around the pebble spreads out. These waves form a circle outward from the point where the pebbles hits the water. The waves represent the vibration of water. Sounds spread in similar way. They spread out in all directions starting from the object that produces vibration. Whales, bats, and some animals use echolocation to move and find their ways and locate their prey. They sound off high-pitched sound which bounce off an object and return to them. Pots and marine animals are able to use sound to see. 
It is the returning echoes that give the animal an image of some parts of its environment. How do sound differ? Sound differ in intensity and pitch. Intensity refers to the loudness or softness of sound and it's dependent on the strength of the vibration. When you strike the drum harder, loud sound is produced because the vibration has more energy or intensity. Sound loses intensity as it is spread outward in all directions from the source. So loudness of sound decreases between a person and the source of sound. If you slightly strike the body of each bottle with a metal spoon, it makes the glass vibrate. The pitch of the sound depends on the amount of water in the glass. With more water, the pitch of sound is lower. Pitch is the highness or lowness of sound, which is dependent on the frequency of the vibration. Tapping the empty bottle produces a higher pitch sound than tapping the bottle full of water did. The less water in the bottle, the faster the glass vibrates and the higher the pitch. The more water you add to the bottle, the slower the glass vibrates, creating a lower pitch. Wow, learning about light and sound is great. Yes, light and sound are one of the blessings that we should give thanks to our Lord. After a long adventure, I'm sure you are now ready to answer the enhancement activities. Enhancement activity number one. Put me in. Match the given illustration with the correct picture. Write the corresponding number in the box. I'm sure you got the right answer. You may now proceed to word hunt. Enhancement activity 2. Word hunt. Find and cross the following words related to sound and light. The words can be found across, down, or diagonally. Good job! Now you can proceed to brain drain puzzle. Enhancement activity 3. Brain drain puzzle. Use the clues below to find out the word needed to fill up the puzzle. I'm sure you got the right answer. You may now proceed to guess what. Enhancement activity 4. Guess what? Arrange the letter based on the given meaning. Did you get the perfect score? Congratulations! You are now ready to answer the post-test. Please do as directed. Choose the letter of the correct answer. Write the answer on your answer sheet. Compare your answer on page 30.